Often you're going to want to have a local installation of a server with WordPress installed on it. This is so that you can debug code without having it live on the internet. You should never test something that you're not sure is going to work live on your real website if it, it, without making sure it's going to work locally. I'm using WAMP, which is for Windows. There are other stacks of Apache, PHP, and MySQL for Linux or Apple, but for this class I'm supporting Windows. This is totally free and it's reasonably easy to do. I'm going to go to the download section and you need to know if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system. You can check that in your settings, your PC info. It will tell you here that I have a 64-bit operating system. So I'll know that this is the one that I want. It's going to have several warnings and then you can click there to download directly. It's telling me my download will start now. And here it is. It looks like I already got that downloaded. I've been practicing. So we'll go ahead and open the one that I've got downloaded and cancel this one. Okay, it's going to ask for it to be allowed to make changes to my computer. I'm going to tell it yes. Looks like I've got two installations running, so we'll cancel that one. I'm going to hit next. And you want to read through the agreement. It's open licensing, but you should read through it. Accept the agreement. hit next and decide where you want to install it. Now some of the research that I've been doing suggests that you should actually install this not in your C file or in your C drive but in your desktop Under Users, your username, and I'm sorry, not desktop, Documents. And so I'm going to install this installation here. And the reason that that's recommended is because you want to have full access for whatever programming you're going to do. Sometimes some programs will have difficulty accessing the C drive directly, so this should avoid any problems. And I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to allow it to create a quick launch and a desktop icon. And I'm going to hit install. Okay, and it says to choose your default browser. If you're not sure, click open. I don't prefer to use Explorer, so I'm going to look in my program files. And my preference is Firefox. To make sure that our WAMP server is actually working, you're going to go and look in your hidden icons, probably, if it's not showing up, and you're looking for WAMP server. And you can see that it's online. What we have to do next is set up our database and then add our WordPress files. We'll do that in the next video.